Hi, this is George, and this is a video to show you how to get some pretty easy traffic by using Google Plus communities and Facebook groups that are large. I will show you how to search for them. Uh, and the key before I even get started is to, is to let you know that it's not about going into these communities and blasting your offer or whether it's free or paid. Uh, I always recommend asking the question, if I, were a if I were a member of that community, and what would I want to see strangers, people I don't know yet, people who uh, I don't trust yet, what would I want to see them post that would delight me, that would make me feel that this was a valuable and useful post or beautiful post or whatever it may be, either useful or delightful, right? Those two kind of general criteria and digestible too, so it's not too overwhelming what would I want to see myself and then turn that around and do that unto others so that you are always a good member of the community uh, you are always what's called adding value or being of benefit to others and as a result uh, when you do have an offer to share uh, uh, something that you really believe is going to be a benefit to that community uh, it may be pay something paid something free um, for them to join your list or whatever uh, you already have trust you built with the community and it would be credible for you to do so. Alright, so first of all, in Google Plus, uh, go to Google Plus login and on the left hand side, this might say home instead of profile, but anyway, hover over this part and then scroll down and click community. Again, how do you do that? You, make, you move your mouse and hover over this block right here, right here. And then uh, scroll down and click communities. Okay, wait for it to load. And then once it loads, you probably haven't joined, you may have joined communities, you may not have. But uh, the key is to, you could do a couple things. One is you can scroll down on this page. I joined a bunch of communities, uh, so uh, you might be like, what? These are ones I've joined, you might not have joined. But just scroll down and then past any ones you have joined, uh, you might, you'll see discover communities and Google Plus will suggest some of the communities that might be of interest to you based on any that you joined or not. And look at some of these communities are huge. Famous Quotes has 200,000 people in it. Okay, so what I would suggest is to search, okay, search for communities that uh, where you would be posting things of value. So for example, I might search spirituality, okay, and press enter. It's always better to search one word rather than multiple words, so because one word then would uh, give you more results. And so here's a search for spirituality. I scroll down, this has 12,000 members. You know, on Google+, Plus, I would encourage you to look for communities that have you know, at tens of thousands of members, if not over a hundred thousand, you'll get a lot more traffic when you post something there. Um, but uh, anyway, twelve thousand is is not small. Two thousand, I would say, uh, below ten thousand, I would say definitely is, is considered small if you're posting things to get traffic. Um, so spirituality apparently is not a very popular uh, sort of group communities type topic um, in Google Plus. So uh, try let's try something else. Um, I go back and I post. Be get creative. Think about other words. So I'm gonna I'm gonna click on wisdom. I, I know that this will come up with something because I have found a community called Wisdom. Wisdom has 149,000 members. So so um, I'll, I'll give you another example. Uh, you know, one of my clients is looking for uh, to connect connect with parents. So I might search kids, right? So for communities of people who care about kids and family cooking with kids every day. Now these, you know, if, if, you, um, uh, if you look for, if you're looking for communities that have less than 10,000, um, it's okay, but just make sure that they have, for, for the number of members, make sure they have a lot of posts. So this one only has 4,000 members, but has over 5,000 posts. So it's probably an active community that, um, you know, that, that might be useful for getting traffic this you know eighteen hundred members but has twenty eight hundred posts okay so um, I'm gonna go back to the to the one on wisdom I'm just gonna click I'm gonna go back uh, to communities here okay okay so I'm gonna just go, go to wisdom and I'm gonna show you something quite interesting here so in every community I'm just gonna scroll to the right so you can see the po more postings more fully in every community that's large Many people post, right now I'm recording this at 4.26 p.m. 
okay and this is this was posted one minute ago okay so they have a lot of um, they have a lot of postings and I'm gonna scroll down and I'm just gonna find a posting that's at least one hour old so let's see here I'm just gonna go down to maybe three three o'clock ish okay three o'clock ish um, I'm gonna go further down to okay 315 okay um, I'm gonna find a, this has a lot of uh, pluses and etc um, well I'm, I'm just gonna click on this image okay I'm gonna click on this image and notice at the bottom of this image it tells you how many views of this image there have been you can also click on photo details and it'll tell you how many views and then if you if you collapse photo details again you can see how many comments there have been but the, isn't that interesting within one out within an hour and a half of this thing being posted there are already over a thousand views of this image so over a thousand people have seen this within an hour of this thing but being posted here this is amazing okay and I'll scroll down further um, to one that has well 40 pluses wow um, eight pluses okay this is fewer pluses um, I think probably because the image is not that interesting and it's, it's just trying to promote herself. Okay, again, this is, you know, it's about adding value, being of benefit to the community rather than just being self-promotional only. Um, but still, even so, even though this is self-promotional, um, right, even though this is self-promotional, it let's click on the image and see how many views there have been. 1,400 views within an hour and a half of this being posted. So I'm not saying you should post anything self-promotional, but even if you do, uh, you'll get quite a bit of traffic, right? But try to be of benefit. And you can know whether it, you're being of benefit by looking at other postings that have more plus. This only has eight pluses, but look, and this one only has one plus. Now, why? It's because it's trying to get people to read a long article. And something that's reading a long article, um, uh, people feel overwhelmed. People like seeing images, something that's digestible. Think digestible, not, oh, I got to click on this and read a long article to get some value out of it. The more digestible it is, right? See, this is, this is very digestible. It's just an image. And look, 24 pluses, right? Versus this one, long article, no pluses at all. This is not an image. This is a link. So I can't even click to, 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 to see how many uh, views. This will bring me to an article, right? So rather than, rather than, rather than an image, this is an image. Um, another example, right? Read more 260 lines, okay? No pluses because people feel overwhelmed. It's not digestible, right? And this is uh, very, very digestible, obviously, 19, 19 pluses. Um, it's not that interesting of an image, really. Uh, but it's over a thousand views, and this is uh, po this was posted. Let's see, this was posted about uh, two hours ago. Anyway, so this is amazing. Just 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 look, join large communities based on different searches. Just do do not give up. Keep searching different words. Keep trying different words until you find communities. Uh, and once you join some communities, right, you can come back to the communities page. Once you join maybe five or so, you can then come back and then scroll down to discover community section and find really large ones. Okay? And uh, go into the communities, look, notice which kind of postings get the most pluses, and post things like that to add value. You can always also... Um, uh, add a link to your website uh, when you post things as well. I'll, I'll show you one of my clients who, are, who is doing this. Uh, she, she's joined a couple of large communities. One of them is called True Love, and I'm just going to search that. Okay, so 185,000 members. Wow. Um, so in this community, okay, her, her name is Claire Shamila, so I'm just going to type Shamila to find her postings. Press enter, and uh, you can see, okay, so this is a posting. Um, she put she put a she put an image here and she has a link uh, to her posting okay and it's gotten um, a lot of pluses already uh, let's see let me sh and this is uh, this is this was just about five hours ago she posted this and um, how many views has gotten over to over a thousand views okay um, scroll down she has another posting this was uh, about a week uh, actually more than a week a week and a half ago maybe two weeks ago and uh, it's got 25 plus is very digestible um, she's got the link uh, of her of her website right in the image itself and uh, of over a thousand views of almost 1500 views okay and she she actually sometimes posts the actual link right in the message associated with the image and that makes the link more clickable and that's that's okay too uh, so like for example this one right so 
post a quote and then the link that you can click on to go to her website and this one has 36 pluses and uh, this was posted uh, about a week and a half ago and over a thousand five hundred seventeen hundred views right now so that's a those are that's an example of um, using Google Plus uh, communities and adding value um, in a digestible and an interesting way let's go to Facebook and I'll show you Facebook groups and how to search for them and find them so again I'm gonna search uh, spirituality okay now type in whatever word you want again be persistent try different words single words okay so I'm gonna, I typed spirituality and instead of clicking on any of these uh, there's something wrong with my browser today but there should be something down here that's a see all results for spirituality it's basically the very last thing you can click on not any of these other ones just click on the very last thing it should say see all results okay click on that and now I'm in the all results page for the word spirituality and the key now is to click on groups okay groups click on groups and and then scroll down and find a group that has lots of members now it just so happens that this one has lots of members but sometimes you'll find uh, the, the groups isn't very well sorted so sometimes you'll find members with a few hundred members few hundred, but keep scrolling until you find a group with lots of members what is a lot of members I would say over 10,000 members in a Facebook group would be considered quite a large group that's worth um, you know worth connecting with and posting in because you know chances are you'll you'll find kindred spirits and potential clients there so here's the key when you find a group with lots of members right instead of going right into the group and joining it and starting to post here's how you can find other groups move your mouse over the group description and there should be a button that's just similar okay let me show you this again I clicked on groups right and I find a group that has lots of members I move, move my mouse over the description and there should be a word that's a similar that pops up I click on similar okay now there are now it's going to show me tons of groups right and uh, uh, look for the ones that are over 10,000 members and and look you can even click similar for lots of other ones but join join I'm just gonna go into this one okay and join a couple of the large groups and still and, and go in there and be a good citizen of that group comment positively on other people's postings share things of value and how do you know what's valuable how do you know share things of how do you know how to share things of value and by the way look for groups that say um, uh, open group. If you find a group that have large, it's probably open group. So let's go into this group and I'll show you what is considered uh, postings with value. Okay, this is a pinned posting by the group moderator, so I'm just going to scroll past this one. But this is recent posts, and this one 15 minutes ago, nobody has liked it yet. Why? Because again, um, this is going to a link, and links people go, oh, I got to click on a link to see what's a value there. Probably not so great, but. Um, this one, uh, you know, this is sort of promoting something, okay? This is being self-promotional. And again, nobody, 20 minutes and nobody has liked it at all. Again, you know, don't be self-promotional. Don't, don't just be, if you're, even if you're going to be self-promotional, right? Share an inspirational quote in the beginning. This person could have been better, uh, better posting if they shared something inspirational. Something, something, even if they didn't want to join your free thing or buy your thing, that they would have gotten value out of that post. Okay, so it shouldn't be starting with, look at me and join my business and I am so important. No, it should be, let me share something that is going to enrich your life. And then if you're interested in joining my free thing or whatever, then it's up to you. But sell people are really aware of being people being self-promotional on social media. And that's, that's true because one is being self-absorbed. If you're, if you're just being self-promotional, you're being self-absorbed. Instead, give and at the same time, promote whatever free thing you have that that makes sense a win-win situation this is not a win-win situation right let's scroll down further never abandon its three large and unwavering friends okay so I don't know what this image is not showing up but I bet this was something um, okay well 29 minutes uh, this is this is in language that most people can't read so but I think it's Brazilian so that's probably why it didn't get like let's let's find a let's find that one that has likes and I'll show you probably why Okay, wow, a lot of things that don't don't have like. Okay, two. See this one? Very digestible. Uplifts me, okay? And two people have already liked it. And this, you know, when you share something that is digestible that people that will uplift them, more people are likely to click on your your profile and see what you've got there, okay? 
let's let's look at more um, more things that people have liked. Uh, okay, this one again. Um, this uh, beautiful image. Okay, beautiful nature images are always good. Two people have already liked it. There is no Wi-Fi in the forums, but I promise you will find it. And even if you don't click on it, you've already gotten some some inspiration out of this. And maybe the image itself. Um, I have always been a nature lover. I think people are clicking it just because they're nature lovers too. So that's cool. Um, further down to okay, this new message from God is here to alert and power. Okay, it's come a great time of need. So this this is this is something of value. Um, uh, the uh, message from God. I don't know. I don't know if this is whatever, but. Um, uh, people have already liked it. So notice what's being liked and try to emulate. You know, scroll down, keep going until you find something that's liked and try to emulate that kind of thing. Again, they're very digestible and um, seven people have liked it already. Okay? And again, something that's, again, this is not very digestible. Um, what the heck is this, right? All right, it's a heart image, but what, what the heck, right? And no one has liked it. So look for things that have been liked and you, and, and imitate, emulate, things like that. So I hope this has been helpful. I know it's kind of long, but uh, uh, please comment below this video and let me know um, what you what you learned, so that you can hopefully others watching this before they even watch this video, they can see what uh, what what uh, what it can, is a benefit in this video. And last thing I want to say again is, rather than going into communities and being self promotional, don't be desperate. Okay, um, your desperation is not to be shown in, in online communities. Um, uh, again, don't be <laughs> desperate. That's a whole other topic. Your true needs will always be met. Notice that you're still alive. You're still using the computer. Your true needs will always be met. So don't be desperate. Go into communities, be inspired, be uplifted, and give. Because when you give, you also yourself be uplifted. Give in a way that um, uh, just give your very best. Don't hold back. Don't try to think, well, gosh, you know, is, are people going to buy my thing? Give your very best. And occasionally, maybe one out of every three messages you put, also include um, some kind of free offer. Or sometimes you may even include some paid offer. But first and foremost, be a good community member. You know, comment on other people's postings positively. What I always like to do is if I post something, I try to comment positively, appreciatively on two other people's postings. So that keeps a really good ratio. Okay? With that, signing off and um, go and be of upliftment in the world. Take care.